Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak, and today I'm finally getting another lookbook up on here, which I'm really excited about. I haven't done a lookbook in, I think it was nine months ago I uploaded the first video, and there was a lot of really positive feedback on that video, so I'm really excited to get more content like that up here on the channel. I also have some more time now to finally get those videos made, so if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. And just like I did with the business casual video, before we actually jump into the outfits themselves, I do wanna highlight some items that you're gonna see across multiple outfits in the video. And since these outfits are all gonna be much more casual, you're gonna see me wearing lighter wash distressed jeans paired with white high top vans on a number of different outfits because there's so many different ways to style this pairing. It's incredibly versatile. The combination of those lighter Lighter wash distressed jeans with white high top vans is gonna work with virtually anything else up top. Which just goes to show you that one or two key elements can actually help you create a lot of different outfits. I also do think it's worth mentioning that a number of the items you're gonna see in this lookbook video, I picked up at a consignment store. So I spent $40 to get the jeans, to get a number of the different shirts you're going to see, and much, much more. So definitely don't shy away from checking consignment stores and thrift stores. You can find some really cool stuff there. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the outfits themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story, and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. All right, guys, so the first outfit on the list is going to pair white high top vans with lighter wash distressed jeans and a patterned button up shirt. And you'll notice the pattern on the shirt is somewhat unique. Now, stripes and polka dots are excellent patterns always, but never be afraid to experiment with the type of patterns that are on your shirt. Also on this outfit, you'll notice a lot of blue and white, and in the spring and summer, that's one of my favorite color combinations. There's just so much you can do with it with virtually any level of attire, from suits all the way down to more casual attire, like what you see here. And next, we have floral print shirts. Guys, springtime and summer means floral print shirts are back in style, and there are so many different floral print patterns and color schemes that you can play around with. Yeah. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. And you'll notice right away, I kept the same distressed jeans and white high top vans, but the look and feel of this outfit is completely different than the first one. I also think that the fraying right up here on the intersection of the shirt pairs very well with the distressed jeans and just kind of adds to the whole vibe of the outfit. Now another trend you'll see in the spring and summer is vibrant color patterns and graphic tees. So here I have a bright blue t-shirt paired with bright coral shorts and white low top vans. So everything on this outfit pops. Now in regards to the graphic tee you go with, find something that fits you well. Not too tight, but definitely not baggy. The fit makes a huge difference with an outfit like this. And this shirt here is actually an original Penguin, which is one of my absolute favorite brands. Everyone just has those brands where they know the fit is going to be perfect for them. The fourth outfit on the list, we're gonna be pairing a bright blue gingham shirt with a red polka dot tie. Again, we're keeping the vibrancy of the colors, but we're also adding in contrasting patterns, which is another fun thing to experiment with that I don't see enough guys doing. Now the combination of a gingham shirt and tie, I could have easily dressed up, but I decided to keep dark blue jeans. So it's still a very casual outfit, but it's definitely a more elevated level of casual than the previous outfits on the list. And you'll also notice right here I have a forehand knot and that's just adding to the casual elements of this outfit even more. This is just a great outfit for a night out on the town. Now the final outfit on the list is actually gonna have darker colors. And the reason I'm adding this on the list is because I know I just said that vibrant patterns and colors are definitely something you wanna use and experiment with in spring, but that doesn't mean you can't get away with wearing darker colors that are still stylized appropriately for the season. So here we're actually bringing back the distressed jeans and white high top vans and pairing it with a three quarter length sleeve shirt, which again just shows you how versatile the pairing of lighter wash jeans and white high top vans can be. This outfit has a totally different feel than the other two outfits that were using the exact same jeans and the exact same shoes. Yeah. 
And again, just like with our graphic tee, the fit is very important here. So make sure that the shoulders are covered appropriately, not too baggy. And also make sure that the seams under your arm aren't digging into your armpit too much. If they're digging in, the shirt itself is too small. Also, if you wanna add a whole nother element into this outfit, I would encourage you to experiment with hats. To complement the darker color scheme of the shirt, I'm using a black and white Adidas trucker hat. Trucker caps for me just seem to be a style that complements my face shape better. The flat build hats and any other style just doesn't seem to look very well on my face. And I actually think this is a great outfit to cap this video off with, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like right down below and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, and I would love to answer that for you. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.